So I have a shocking story to bring you, and it's about how Donald Trump is believing the most insane lies from his movement. Over the weekend, we talked about Sidney Powell and Mike Flynn basically saying that Donald Trump could be simply reinstated maybe in August. We also talked about how Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, has been saying that for months, but that we all sort of thought that maybe Donald Trump doesn't actually believe it. Like he's letting people say it because it amasses his power, but he doesn't actually believe it. But it turns out he 100% believes the craziest lies. This is as per the New York Times, it says, Trump has been telling a number of people he's in contact with that he expects he will get reinstated by August. No, this isn't how it works, but I'm simply sharing the information. It isn't happening in a vacuum. It is happening as he's faced the possibility of an indictment from the Manhattan DA, but he's not putting out statements about the audits in states just for the sake of it. He's been laser focused on them, according to several people who have spoken with him. So basically, Donald Trump behind the scenes actually believes the craziest memes, the craziest conspiracies from his craziest supporters, that he is actually going to come back to power in August or September or sometime soon, even though there is literally no provision for that in the Constitution, even though if Trump was going to be reinstated or if the election result was going to be challenged, it had to have happened by January 6th because on January 20th, Donald Trump was no longer president and Joe Biden was and nothing can remove Biden from power except for impeachment or some sort of thing. And even if you do that, there's a line of succession which includes Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi and so many others and Donald Trump is not on it. We know this. But Trump seems to believe this now. And I think he's doing this because one, he's a literal goddamn crazy person. Like literally the former president is bonkers. Like we have to deal with that reality. But two, he's afraid. And note that quote there that I showed you that he's doing this in the context of looming criminal charges, indictments, and maybe even arrests in New York and also Georgia because there's a grand jury against him in Georgia. And so Trump thinks to himself, all of these lawsuits really kicked off in January when I was no longer president. And so even if I wasn't technically above the law as president, I was insulated politically because no one was really going after me until I left the White House. So if I can get back into the White House, then I'll be safe again. And my kids, they'll likely be safe again too. And so we'll all be covered. We'll all be hunky-dory. I just got to get that presidential title back and the presidential protection back. But he knows in his mind, maybe, maybe he knows in his heart that he can't become president again until at least 2024 if he runs and wins. And so he's like, well, I got to get back now. Now I can just be reinstated, even though that's not even a thing. And so this is why this is hilarious. Yes. Like we're literally getting to laugh at a loser president who doesn't even acknowledge he's a loser. So every day we get to see him lose again and again and again and again. But it's terrifying because this can't be disconnected from January 6th and from people like Mike Flynn calling for a coup and rank and file Trump supporters refusing to accept the result. And a lot of them, according to new CNN reporting, that's kind of highlighted in the clip I showed you that they're also calling for a Myanmar st style coup coup like Mike Flynn was like this is a dangerous time so long as the president is a literal crazy person spitting on the Constitution American democracy is in danger and this guy could run again and he could win again and if he does democracy will be dead and we won't be laughing then